I've seen ballots that don't uh, belong to anybody. They don't show up in the voter registration. There's no name attached to them. And what are they doing with those ballots? They, I'm challenging them. And okay. they're supposed to put them in a box to okay. be uh, then okay. be evaluated. But then uh, multiple uh, 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 ballots that uh, have several different numbers, okay. one person with different numbers. Okay. We have whole lists of them. We're writing everything down all day long. So are they improperly filled out and you're looking yeah. to disqualify them? Yes. If they're okay. improperly filled out, if they have no name, if they don't have a home, or if the person was born in 1921 but registered to vote in 1900, yeah. that kind of doesn't make sense. So, but that's not on the ballot. When you vote, your ballot is just the balls in which you have on there. What are you seeing? Are you seeing people's seeing, registration yeah, forms? Yes, we are. So on the tables, you have the ballot, and then you are able to see next to them. Uh, on a computer on, screen. On a computer screen, we, whose ballot yeah, that is. Sometimes they, the ballot itself has no name, but the ballot is filled out. Okay. And then if we go into the registration uh, file, okay. we find the person that has... Uh, I mean, was born in 1921, and it's just a lot of, there's a lot that's not right. What's wrong with being born in 1921? But uh, uh, registering to vote in 19, 1900, 21 oh, oh. years before you were born. Well,